Former Haitian Prime Minister Laurent Lamont joins me now from Miami, Florida. Thank you, sir, for being with us. Thank you for having me. I wanted to start by asking you what's behind this increase in gang violence and kidnappings across Haiti, with the capital mostly controlled by gangs. How did this happen? Well, everything started a while back, but it got worse after the death of the assassination of President Jovenel Moïse, who was basically the last brink of constitutionality. His death created a huge void. And all his programs, he had a lot of programs, social programs that he was doing, and, and everything stopped uh, for the past 15 months. So that created a situation of despair, and it actually fueled the gangs uh, and, and the violence. Uh, the, the, the pressure, uh, the frustration in the country basically reinforced the gangs. And all along, uh, the president had a task force that was, you know, very aggressive on the gangs, and that task force actually was dissolved, creating a vacuum, and the police being under-equipped, the army being non-existent, the only game in town became the gangs. And there is eight warlords today. There is close to 200 gangs, to just to give you some numbers. Uh, there is over 10 to 15,000 of them, you know, part of the gangsters, and they are terrorizing you know, the whole, the whole country, I would say. 75% of the capital, Port-au-Prince, is occupied by gangs. So it's a very difficult situation. And uh, it's very, you know, the, the country is at a standstill right now. The, the gas deliveries have stopped. They're occupying the terminal, the, the fuel terminal. Um, hospitals are closing. Clinics are closing. Schools cannot open. It's really a, a situation of guerrilla uh, warfare right now. And so, in response to this, U.S. President Joe Biden's administration has drafted a U.N. Security Council resolution authorizing the deployment of foreign troops to Haiti. What's your reaction to that move? Is, is that what needs to be done? Well, uh, this is one step that needs to be done, uh, one step in the right direction. Of course, you know, it's not the first time that Haiti would be receiving foreign troops, so, so I hope that the international community learns from their mistakes in the past. Um, you know, the, the problem is not simply sending the troops in. This time, it will be sending the troops, but, but not a military occupation, more of a assistance to the police and the army in equipment, in resources, in training, in intelligence, in order to defeat the gangs. That's priority number one. But in order for that to work, that has that alone is not going to solve the problem. That has to be accompanied with an aid package, because you know, for the past 15 months, the people of Haiti has uh, have seen terrible uh, misery and poverty. So, so, so the the uh, the the, uh, the assistance to the police needs to be accompanied with an aid package, and afterwards, train the police, train the army, equip the police, equip the army. So that never again will Haiti face this, this gang warfare that is living right now. Meantime, what's Haiti's current prime minister doing about these multiple crises gripping the nation? Well, the prime minister, as you know, is a provisional government that came after uh, the assassination of, of President Moïse. Uh, the prime minister came on a mandate of four months. Basically, the mandate was pretty straightforward, which was his job was to organize elections and do a referendum for a new constitution. Um, and, you know, he had four months to do it. He didn't do it. We, we are 15 months in. And that also has, and, and the prime minister has basically imposed, has tripled the price of gas, um, gasoline prices and diesel prices on the market, which has caused even more frustration. And, 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 and this, this, as you've seen, um, have has really uh, upset many people, and people have taken to the streets asking for the ouster of the prime minister. So, so the prime minister, you know, if I was in his place, I would put a, a temporary halt on the on the price hike to allow the tensions to come down, allow the troops to come in, um, you know, basically take control of of, of the gangs, 
because today with with the presence of the gang you know nothing is possible because everything is stopped and everything is blocked it's it's a it's, it's a situation of national standstill former haitian prime minister laurent lamotte thank you so much for talking with us appreciate it thank you very much for having me